Plaintiff Erston Hare claims the truck driver from the defendant's company forced him off the road and straight into a tree. He's suing for $3,475 for car damage. Defendant Sean Nance says she's glad the plaintiff avoided a crash, but he's the one who chose to drive into a tree. She's not paying. You ran up on a side embankment in your car? I'm sure, Judge Jury, you hear a lot of cases on accidents. This accident, however, was quite unique. I have been involved with Jeeps for, for some years. My brother, older brother and I, are involved with a couple of different Jeep clubs. May I, may I call my wife up here? She was a witness to sure. everything. I was taking some groceries to my brother, my, yes. my older brother. And uh, while we were on the way there, I realized that a uh, street that was coming up soon was a street that he had mentioned. There was a house that he liked that was considering making a purchase. Yeah. I, I mentioned to my wife, uh, maybe we should peep at the house. Just do a drive-by. Yeah. Your Honor, and at that time, I told him it was not a good idea right now. We need to get the groceries onto his brothers. Okay. Sorry. Well, that's, that's true. As I approached the intersection, there was a truck in the left lane about to make a left turn. A left turn? A left turn. I had decided I should not be stopping to view this house. So instead of making the right turn, I was staying in the right lane. And going to, straight. Exactly. Was there in that right lane that you were in, was it a right turn only lane? Very or was honor. it you could go straight as well? It was a travel lane. The gentlemen were working on a litter contract that we have. Yes. I am the president of the company. Yes. Uh, it is the employees that were driving the truck. I can't remember what road it was. I was not there. I did not see it. Yes. But our, our guys uh, submitted an incident report. He did acknowledge that he was making the right turn from the left-hand lane. That's why he stopped. He thought that Mr. Hare was going to make a right turn as well, which is why he was stopped. And I looked up and I saw this truck and I, I froze. I got scared. I didn't scream. I didn't do anything no. because I know how my husband is. He's real good about doing stuff. Next thing I knew, we were up in the trees and the bushes because he made that turn because if that truck had hit us, I don't think we would have been standing here today talking about it. You can step up here, sir. So now, the D, I assume, is the defendant. And here you this come. Is me. This is the Jeep approaching. Yeah, it, yeah, that's a pretty small Jeep. Okay, <laughs> and okay here you go. I was thinking, and actually, Oh. That, that was very good. So he wasn't trying to turn left, as you said, he was trying to turn right. He was in the left, he was stopped in this lane. In the left lane, but right. he was turning right in front of right. you, is and what you're as saying. As you can see, this, That's what the you, travel okay. lane comes up. You're coming you this turn, way. But you can also proceed north. Did you signal at any time that you were turning right? I'm confident, Judge Jury, that as I approached, there was no turn signal on in my vehicle because I had already decided I'm okay, not Okay, so you were just going straight. Had the defendant's vehicle signaled a right, changing lanes? No, sir. Were you injured? Sore, but not, it all happened so quickly. Yes. It just seemed to be in slow motion. Oh, I understand. I've learned to look where you want to go. So what I was looking at was that truck. I did not want to go there. So I looked to the right, and it's not like I intentionally, oh, let me swerve. I looked where I wanted to go, and that's where I went, to the right of the vehicle. And you couldn't, and avoided you couldn't stop it. before hitting the curb? No way I could have stopped. So you went up there, and the reason you went up there is you were trying to avoid what? hitting that truck. I'm trying to save our lives. I love her and, dearly. And you love your wife dearly, and you wanted to save her. Right. And right. I knew I did nothing Even wrong. from a little bit of an injury. I knew I did nothing okay. wrong because she did not fuss at me. Right. She, it would have been wow. Oh, that, would, that, <laughs> that would have been worse than the accident. <laughs> he went to make the right turn. Um, they did not collide. He did go into the trees. The guys did pull over. The police were called. Uh, the driver had multiple moving violations, but no citations were written because of COVID. This was an insurance claim that was made. It was denied. Yes. Um, he was given, I only have here $120. Any payment that's being referenced, I have, this is the first I'm hearing of it. I reported the claim 
to the trucking company's insurance company. A week or so later, Your Honor, I got a call from the same insurance company, and I thought they were just backing up each other. They but it ended up claim. being a separate claim. So if something shows I was paid, it could be to the claim that they pushed to the side, because I assure you, nothing came to me, All right. uh, nothing. I believe your story is absolutely reasonable about what happened. We've all been in those situations where someone suddenly decides, oh, I, I need to be turning there. The person that's going this way tries to avoid it. You didn't purposely drive up into the trees. No, They're so pretty, that's but you, you weren't going to drive up to get a closer look. There's really not an argument about it, I find, for the plaintiff, for $3,475. I feel okay about the verdict. Um, I understand that, you know, things happen unfortunately and um, the insurance claim said one thing, but we have to honor Judge Jerry here, so I'm okay with the, with the verdict. I was very happy that we, that we were found victorious in the case. Hey YouTube, thanks for watching. For more Judge Jerry, click here. More Jerry Springer, click here.